it's all about passion. I think. Uh, uh, Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our six of seven match. Dean Baird, Gary Mazaroff. We got girls 18 and under. Doubles, Bolivia taking on Mexico. Excellent serve right there. Gary, these, ga these ladies played in the prelim. They did. Bolivia won. So this is a revancha, if you will, the revenge match for Bolivia and for the gold. Yeah, and uh, Villazon. I should say for Mexico, excuse me. Yeah, Villazon didn't expect that first serve to come wrapping around. She's got to expect that. Because the theme is to take uh, Mika out of the game. Good retrieval. And there's a winner for Michaela Manessas. So, Gary, same thing for ladies on the double side, matching shirts, matching pants. That's accurate. Rear court five, the show court in Guatemala. Great shot forehand by Rico. Left up ball by Manessis. Put away by the young lady from Mexico, Martinez. Yeah, the, I think the play on the glass side, you know, in these last two matches that we have, and if one is 18 doubles girls and the other one's gonna be 18 doubles boys, I think the play on the right side is gonna be the key the, for the Costa Ricans, uh, who's coming up next, is similar to the Bolivian team. The right side player is not as strong as the other three players on the court. So the, you're going to see them try to really work into that game strategy as we saw yesterday, Costa Rica versus Chile. But Mika Mene Meneses is definitely looking to change that there. She already has a goal earlier in singles. Beat Martina Katz from Argentina. Nice shot. Bounce. Manessis yeah. has taken over. You expected that. One one. Another half out. Champ serve up the middle, long by Rico. Yeah, her first service is always going to be kind of the wrap around and keep Mika out of the play. I would expect them to serve to the right side, both of them. Nobody home. Yeah. Villazon's got to, she's got to recognize that she can't rely on Mika to take every ball that's deep in that corner. Good serve. Safety hold up. Now that's gonna be a half out. Way more than safety, Gary. That ball came, uh, Mika was set up, racket ready to shoot. Well, there's a safety hold up first and foremost. Then it's up to the official to make the right call. Okay, agreed. Good save. Pinch rollout, Mika Meneses. Want to welcome uh, Senorita Paola. Mancia Paola here to our broadcast, giving Pablo a well-deserved 
reprieve. I don't know about that. <laughs> There's a winner in the corner for again Nika Meneses. shot Martinez that was right out Villa's on straight at her legs it was very hard for her to snap her wrist and get and make the front wall there skipped in 2-2 Two -two. three two like we said before game was Game one was 15-13, and then game two was 15-5 when they played in pool play, Gary. Um, and again, we're at the one and two seed here. Head official Fabian Torres from Colombia. And we have two lines people from Guatemala here, Luis and Hansa. So thus far, Dean, according to my tabulations, on this court today, five matches, we have Guatemala one win. Mexico two and Bolivia two, is that accurate? That is 100% accurate, Gary Masroff. Statistician, friend, compadre, amigo, partner, and option E, all of the above. <laughs> by Villazon, looking to become world champions. The winner will take home the gold in this match. Set up off the back wall for Mexico. Martinez rips it down the line, and that's point. Cuatro, cuatro. Get on that, Gary, cuatro, cuatro. Too hard. Okay. Yeah, it did. It didn't work. Pablo's giving uh, Gary a little bit of a lesson here. Pablo's Dad's lesson. always right. Dad's oh, always I, right. Absolutely. And I got my French lesson from Jen Saunders. I, I'm on a roll here. It's uh, five four right now. Good serve by Martinez, but a decent return by Villazon. Skipped it in, Martinez went cross court. Down the line's open. I think the, the, the play of Martinez has really gotta be almost every time, let's keep that ball down the line, and then when, the, when you see Mika kind of covering, that's when you gotta hit the cross court. Nice wrap around there. Got to make that shot. A little too high. And that's an easy winner for Mika Meneses. Conservative play there. Wow. Pay Stuck dividends. to the glass. Yeah, pay dividends. Stuck to the glass. 6 5. Bolivia taking a short lead. Buena bola, called by the referee. Point, Bolivia, 
Good pick up by Villazon. And that was a fantastic rip by Rika. She was screened out. Let's see if the call's made. Cambio. She's going to appeal. She ran into her running to the ball. Just use your appeal. The human factor here. The call, the call so stands. they think the ball was running away from her and she wasn't going to be able to attempt it. Side out. It's coming right. Got to be ready for that shot. Yeah, Villazon went, went to the right there, and Mika wasn't able to shoot. She had to go up top, and I don't think she was prepared for that. Good call. 6-7. Ball live. Replay. Just to hinder. See if she comes back to the right side. We called it earlier. Yeah, she's going to have a Z. It's definitely wrapping around. It's not going to be driven to Mika. Goes with the reverse that time. Good response by Viazon. Good pick up off the back wall. Kill shot. Rico thinks she got it. She definitely made a little bit of a, a weird facial expression and I'm gonna do another Z serve to the forehand here. They're recognizing, Yanko's recognizing the, the trouble. So right there, um, what Villazon has to do is when that ball's in the middle of the court, she's got to come over and come back towards the glass. But what she doesn't want to do is keep her back to the glass. But she's got to be there for him, racket ready. Right. It's down, you're right. She's playing way too much in the middle of the court. There's a good shot. Because she wants Mika to come and take those balls. She definitely plays the front of the court. Missed it. So it's one point lead for Mexico here. Game one, girls 18 doubles. Make that two, Gary, that's 9-7. Yep. Martinez, oh, look at this. Excellent. Poached over with the backhand and outright winner. You gotta watch out for that. Bolivia had some tricks there. Fortunate. Got out of position, got hit. Martinez. Set up. Good get by Rico. This is tough. Around the world. Skipped in. Side out now, 9-7. Mexico with a two-point lead. Yeah. 
Point score, 10-7, Team Mexico. Rico Manessis. Ball down, point. Mexico on a little, little roll, so to stop the bleeding, Bolivia calls a timeout. It's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and 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 makes you uh, want to try hard for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm a little Beltran. Get your M40 so you can play like me. back. Gary Mazaroff, Paola Mancia is now in the booth. We're watching girls 18 doubles here. This is the sixth of seven broadcasts today on final Saturday 32nd IRF Junior World Championships. Mexico has forged ahead 11-7 in game one. These two teams played in pool play and Bolivia won so this is uh, La Revancha if you will. Rico from Mexico serving first server. It's the reverse to the right. Picking on the Viasons Bolivian player. What a great shot from Rico with that backhand. Deep court, left side pinch. Bottom line, the score is 12, serving seven. Same serve, Martinez. Straight up, straight down, ceiling ball, hand out. This is all, it's for the gold. Good serve, right side, back to the ceiling. Set up. Point. Two ladies from Mexico trying to close this first game out. First to 15, win by one. Same serve, reverse to the right. Oh, nobody home right side. Game point number one here. Just a different twist on that. Straight in, straight back along the glass, short. High Z lob, Manessis comes over to poach. And it worked. The second time she's poached here and was successful. You gotta watch out for that. Don't take anything for granted. As a result, Bolivia staves off another game point, 7-14. Vanessa's deep court, skips it in. A little funk here for Team Bolivia. They haven't scored in a while. So Viasson will try to break that impasse. Back up top, Martinez. Quick a court hinder. Not sure what the call was here. So the call stands. Replay. Dead ball hinder replay. Good shot. A lot of arms raised. Players need to stagger and cover the court a little bit better. They're getting stuck. Another replay, 
Z lob right side. Nessus puts it away for point eight, Team Bolivia. Timeout. We'll stay here, folks. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham. Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up. Back to court number five here in Guatemala City. Gary and Paola here. Dean and Pablo in the background. Team Bolivia trying to catch up in game one. That's, call, that's called a good miss, Dean. Point scored. Yes, a very different. Olivia trying to hold him off here, late in game one. Manessis again, skipped it in. Another game point for Team Mexico. This is game one, girls 18 doubles for the gold. Great serve, there it is. Game Three. one in the books, Gary. We'll be back, folks. Stay tuned, you're on the IRF. It's, it's all about passion. I think uh, I, I don't have anything to prove anymore in the sport. Uh, at the beginning of my career, I wanted to be one of the best, but uh, I have nothing to prove. I, I play with no pressure. I'm just enjoying every moment. But uh, when people are cheering for you and 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 stop their whatever they're doing, their jobs or or to go watch uh, you play, I mean that that makes you uh, feel uh, good and. and and makes you uh, want to try it hard for and, and give a good show for that people. I'm Alvaro Beltran, get your M40 so you can play like me. Back here, championship court, 32nd edition of the IRF Junior World Championships. Guatemala City, La Capital, about a million people, seven million in the metro. This is Gary with Paola and Pablo and Dean. Team Bolivia trying to force a tie break. They beat Team Mexico two games to zero in the preliminary pool play. Perhaps they came in a little bit overconfident. They lost game one, 
Good serve. Put away, Viasson. Point scored, 1-0, good start. Fabian Torres from Colombia, he is our head official. We have two lines people from Guatemala, Hansel and Luis, so it's a side out. Only one of the ladies serves in the first half inning of each game. Rico from Mexico reverses it via zone. Martinez. And a rollout from Manessis, the girls 18 world champ in singles earlier today. Zero serving one, game two. Set up Manessis. Ball live. Rico, oh nice, Micaela, left corner, put away. Fault serve second. High Z lob right side to Martinez, goes up top. Set up, put away, ball down, 2-0. Rico, deep court, skipped it. Three point for Bolivia. That's F R E E with the skip. Make that four zero. And uh, Mexico calls a timeout. We're here at the IRF. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back. Va. The Colorado Springs Sports Court brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world. We're live here on the stadium court. I'm now joined by Dean Shear. He's doubling up as our statistician. When we resume play, it's Bolivia four, Mexico zero. Bolivia trying to force an 11 point tie break. Two review, two timeouts per game, one minute in length. Viasone, Martinez, Manessis, Martinez, ball live. There it is. Right side player Martinez for Team Mexico puts it away, hand out. It's what we call a strong timeout. The 70-30 percentage. Set up.
rally ending forehand with the girls 18 world champ Manessis from Bolivia point scored Happy of the coach gave him some prompts during the break. They've worked. Speaking of working, Martinez cross court kill. So they stop the bleeding. Bolivia loses that rally. Mexico serving 0 5. Make that 1 5 with that deep right side crack. A serve. Rico. Ball live. Nobody home. Saved. Bottom line, Mexico two. Bolivia five, two straight points off that timeout. So they've won three straight for, uh, rallies, two points awarded. Reverse, good serve, set up. Point. Three, five. Manessis, Rico, winner left side with that backhand. Showing off all of her talent there, Manessis. Hand out 3-5. Rico left side again with the backhand. Oh, uh, third time into the floor. She'd like that one back. Five serving three. This is the sixth of seven stream matches. Last one will be boys doubles 18 years of age. Point. We have a 6-3 lead. It's a great shot by Martinez on the right side. Kept it along that vidrio, that glass that's 20 by 40. Very difficult to pick up the ball at times. Second server comes in, sets it up. Manessis, Manessis again. So players converged, ball came in the middle, visual hinder replay. First serve. Comes back with that high Z lob. Set up off the back for Manessis and she puts it away right side with the pinch. Gotta be more careful on that return to serve. Wrap it around or go to the ceiling. It's almost a free point. better straight down the right side wall Let's see if she hits the jam or the reverse to the right she goes reverse great serve set up nobody home it's tough to cover with the eye formation front and back he gets screened out oftentimes. Rico serving. Four seven. Good serve. 
Uh, that ball handcuffed her, Dean. Front wall, side wall, exploded at her feet. Martinez straight down that right side wall. Comes up short. And the Mexican young lady skips it. No change in score. 7-4, game two. Manessis, ball live. Manessis again. Great follow of that ball. Coming around with the forehand. Rico, hand out. Ceiling exchange until Team Mexico Martinez hits a forehand winner. No change in score that inning, 4-7. Reverse. Oh, Martinez reverse. Speaking of reverses, reverse pinch with that forehand into the left corner. Six, seven. If they can get to 15 first, they are the gold medalists. Great shot. Backhand cross court winner by Manessis. So let's see if they can tie it up here with Martinez. Comes straight in, another short. So high Z lob or direct lob, right side. Rack it up. Manessis didn't come over to poach. Set up Rico. Kill shot, winner. Empate siete, sirve a siete, seven, seven, game two. Now Manessis poaches, successful. So Dean, she's done that three times. And uh, each time she was able to put it away. Dean nods his approval. So that ball was long. Bolivia, second serve, up top. Ceiling exchange. No, it's around the wall ball. Point number eight for Team Bolivia. Trying to jam that ball in the middle off that back glass. Came up long. Good serve. Goes up top. Reverse. Reverse attempt into the floor. Once again, next match will be the final of the tournament and it'll be streamed. Boys 18 doubles. Martinez wraps it around. So we had a convergence. Dead ball hinder called by Potro, also known as Fabian Torres from Colombia. First serve. We had a tw about 23 officials over these two weeks. Professional officials for the International Racquetball Federation. Ball down. Much to the chagrin of the young Bolivian Lady Manessis. One point deficit, Team Mexico. So 
Manessis anticipates that jam and comes over and hits a winner. It's happened a few times. Mexico needs to be aware of that. Another short serve. She's kind of pushing the ball so she's not driving through it and not getting the length. That was a good serve along the glass. Rico, Manessas, Rico again, Villason, Rico, Manessas, Martinez, and skip, point. So another empate, Ocho, sirve a Ocho. Deliberation by Team Bolivia, they need to win this game to force a tie break. They lost the first 15-9. See if he awarded avoidable, and he did. It's appealed, call stands, appeal loss for Bolivia. So points scored, 9-8, Mexico. Six points from a gold medal. Manessas poaching right side, goes up top. Not successful, straight up, straight down, ball 10-8. Do we have another timeout in the making for Bolivia? It's a resource, they need to use it. There we go, 11-8. And they do, time out on the floor. You're with the International Racquetball Federation feed, the broadcast from Guatemala City. We'll be back. The Colorado Springs Sports Court brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham? Give a big round of applause. We're back here. Gary, Paola, Dean, Dean, and Pablo. Team Mexico girls with the revenge match. They lost in pool play two games to zero. They're four points from earning the gold medal here in the playoff. We'll have Bolivia and Costa Rica boys 18 doubles after this match. Oh my. See if the ball was called down. No, she got to it. They're going to appeal. So Rico's appealing Manessis's get, saying that it, she thought it was two bounces. The call is replay. The result is replay. Loss of appeal for Team Mexico. Each team is entitled to three usable appeals per game. High lob right side. Viasone. Rico. Rico number two. Fist pump. Backhand. Roll out left side. So folks, we have a 12-8 lead in game two for Team Mexico. Shoots that one, Vanessa. Vanessa wins that rally with a side wall, front wall. 
combination. Is it time for her to take over and get back into this game? The operative question, 8-12, game two. She comes with the jam. Back wall. And there's a point. So we'll change the score here. Mexico has 12 points. Score is Dia Sirve a 10 12. And we have a timeout from Team Mexico. We'll stay here. Thank you, Paola. So let's let's do some review of the two weeks. This tournament started almost two weeks ago tomorrow. So Sunday it started. Tomorrow's, excuse me, uh, today's the last day. 14 days of play. 14 countries in the World Championships. Team USA, congratulations for the team champ. They also won the men's. Mexico won the women's category. Congratulations to all the other teams that participated, including team from Ireland, Japan, and South Korea. For the USA, Dominican Republic, and Ireland, Japan, and South Korea did not field a juniors team. Thus, we have nine teams here. 23 officials. This is the 32nd edition of the Junior Worlds. It was the 20th edition of the World Championships. So we're gonna find out what the discussion is. We'll ask our statistician. Okay, the review was on the previous serve, on the serve upheld by the officials. So it's Bolivia serving 10-12. Maness is taking over. Left up. Safety hold up. She held up first, but a point, a point awarded. So the point was probably awarded due to an avoidable failure to move. Then the ball hit the Mexican young lady. So we have another empate, 12-12. Viasson from Bolivia serving, trying to break the deadlock. They need to get to 15 first to force a tie break. Rico left side, comes back up top. Manessis. Martinez. Oh, skip by Manessis. Kind of push that backhand into the corner. Mexico, 12-12. No, ball down. Manessa's taking over. So the call was overruled. So we'll have a Rico serving a winner outright. 
Team Mexico, two points from the goal. Can they finish it, folks? Reverse, wrap around, set up, ball down. That's Punto awarded. So it's 14-12 unless it's rever uh, reversed. Re so both lines people disagreed with Tortoise's call. No point. Replay, 13-12, first serve. No appeal used. Jam. Oh my. Time out, Bolivia. We'll be back. You're watching the International Racquetball Federation broadcast. The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. Who passes the flag to William Bell from Birmingham? Give a big round of applause. He'll give it up. Back here, championship court. Guatemala City, Gary, Dean, Paola, Pablo, Dean, double Dean, sardine and regular Dean. Here we go. Okay. Match point number one, Rico serving for Mexico. Goes for the short crack. Wow, great response from Manessis. She'll have no part of that. Martinez, Mexico. Ball up. Rico, Manessis. Replay it. Convergence in the middle. Try again. So this is match point number three. High lob right side. Great serve. Rico. Manessis. Set up. Manessis again. And skips it in. T team Bolivia. Loses two, two straight to Team Mexico. The revenge, La Revancha. For Team Mexico. Girls 18. Doubles. Gold medal. Abrazo Yanko Renteria. We'll have one more match. We'll be back with boys 18 doubles here on court five, the championship court in Guatemala. Stay tuned. The Colorado Springs Sports Corp brings top flight events to Olympic City, USA. Each summer, more than 10,000 competitors gather to compete in the Rocky Mountain State Games. Spectators and competitors from around the world witness the prestigious Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. And the annual Labor Day liftoff blends the scenic beauty of Colorado Springs with an awe-inspiring collection of hot air balloons, music, and fun. To learn more, visit coloradospringsports.org. 